This is something that I am really excited yes. about. When I heard about this, I like jumped out of my chair. So I'm gonna just move down and cool. let you introduce our guest. Great. A uh, so a new member of the Creative Live community is Miss Miss Madeline Trait. Uh, she is a multidisciplinary designer, photographer, artist who is creating amazing work in the San Francisco Bay Area. Why don't we want to have you come up, Madeline, and join Madeline. us? Hello. Yes. So. For, welcome to Creative Live. Thanks. Thanks for having me. For the next two months, you are going to be working out of the Creative Live San Francisco office, uh, doing a capstone learning project, creating art along the way, showing your process. Um, what got you interested in the Artist in Residence program? Um, actually, I wasn't super familiar with Creative Live, and after hearing all the stories, too, I'm even more excited because just the idea of learning new skills and helping that develop my art further and my business further, that's what really kind of made me really excited to do this and get into the Artist in Residence program here. Cool. And so what we did with the Artist in Residence program was we looked at the, the local communities in uh, Seattle and San Francisco, which is where we're based. We met a lot of like really interesting people and we put out sort of a, a quiet ask for you know who wants to come and be an example of uh, participating in creative live classes and learning over a two month period and and share your stories along the way so you're going to be kind of open and transparent for for all of the all the folks out there over the next two months yeah, how do you feel about that exactly i feel excited i mean it's fun to share the process because I'm always just so in my head all the time and at home and yeah, I'll do Instagram stuff here and there, but it'll be really fun to kind of bring people along the journey of starting from this initial idea and then what it develops into. Cool. Well, let's maybe take a look at some of the work that you've already done. You can mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that and then at the end you'll tell us about the projects that you're going to be working on over the next two months at Creative Live. Yeah. Cool. So um, this is, uh, I started doing flowers a couple years ago, just a side thing, and then friends, family kept asking me to do it, so I started doing it for mainly for weddings. But a lot of my art is nature-based so, and florals, so it really makes sense to actually work with the real thing. And this p image is my studio where I have this painting in the background that I did as well, so it's kind of showing the two mediums working together. Bringing a lot of things from different places together, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, inspired by nature. Um, mm -hmm. What are some of your, your other inspirations? Um, other, where just other creatives, other artists, my friends, and just, I think just my general community too, just talking to people. I get ideas from them, and, and it's not necessarily they have to be another artist, but just, it's just talking to people and kind of throwing things out there, and someone will say something and I'll just trigger just some random idea, which will turn into something like this. Cool, well tell so, us what this is. This is actually, it's really fun. This is um, part of the Art in Storefronts program uh, for Central Market a mm -hmm. couple years ago. and which, which is a neighborhood in San Francisco. Right, uh, yes, I forget that, not everyone's yeah, here. Yeah, they're, they're talking to the globe. <laughs> um, yeah, so in San Francisco, and it's you know an area that is not necessarily the nicest area. They're trying to redevelop it. And this was part of this program is to take old empty storefronts and put artists into it. So this was called Trash Formation and the idea was I took um, aluminum cans and they transformed into a swarm of butterflies and I wanted it to be kind of this jewel-like box. And to get, you, you had to be accepted and so I sketched this idea um, which then you know turned into the real thing. So it was really fun and exciting to be part of the community project and and again it you know involved nature and I decided to use aluminum cans because it's kind of trash and mm -hmm. trash formation. Trash formation, cool. So, and this is yeah. now here's a piece that goes in a totally different direction. Yeah, We've so, seen some nature and <laughs> trash and now beautiful. So, yeah, I'm definitely interested in jewelry as well, which I'm wearing a piece I made, which is a different rendition of uh, kind of what I'm interested in. This is a couple years ago. Um, and I made this applique kind of bracelet and I wanted to show it in an interesting way and so I drew the hand and then just put the bracelet on it and photographed it and, and in a way I kind of like it just as an art piece now not necessarily as like a product shot so mm -hmm. to me it's like it transformed after you know a couple years of just not looking at it and then looking at it again and being like hey maybe I should hang this on my wall. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So. 
Uh, and so then, uh, again, totally different direction, yes. much kind of poppier here. Yeah, so, and what, it's... So it's, what, what are these? These are cake toppers, and so I, through the flowers, again, it's like this whole transition and process of, you know, I just get interested in different things. Um, and doing weddings, I would, you know, do flowers for the cakes, and I thought it would be really interesting to have something fun and different to have as a decoration. And mm -hmm. it just popped in my head one day, and then I started drawing, and la with laser cutting, it was obvious way to make them. And so, so here we have a San Francisco heart cake topper, and then, you know, taking the plunge. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of other yeah, cake so toppers here, or really, pie topper. Yeah, I really expanded on the cake <laughs> topper. And the idea, too, with the cake toppers was it's, you can use it as a decoration, and then you could actually use it as something, as an art piece in, at your home afterwards. That's really cool. So, I mean, and then, I mean, just with the laser cutting, it's really kind of expanded what I can do. And so with the wood and being able to paint the wood so I can take my idea, draw it out, get it laser cut, paint it, and then make it into jewelry, make it into cake topper, maybe it's an art piece. So yeah. it kind of takes all those ideas. We, we've got a couple of them. Like uh, of actual physical things that you've created mm -hmm. here, you can you can grab that one sure. right there, uh, and it's it's super intricate and and really neat. The laser yeah. cutting is just amazing. The how precise you can get and transform your very specific illustrations I mean, that's and designs. The, the really fun thing about the laser cutting is how detailed you can get, mm -hmm. and that's actually a custom piece I'm doing for someone um, based on Burning Man, and then this is kind of a standard piece I have that I created for my own illustration and ideas. Very cool. Um, we'll look at a couple more. And actually, while we flip to the end of your, your work, why don't you tell us what you're going to be working on mm -hmm. over the next two months at Creative Live and some of the, you know, the types of classes that you're going to be taking from us and mm -hmm. how you'll be applying that to your right. own creativity and work. So the idea I have, the concept is my, my Lou, which is like your social environment or your physical environment, and kind of taking that idea of place and applying that to just illustrations and seeing what manifests out of that. Um, and then the classes, I really want to take some photography classes, some of the business, you know, just getting better about capturing my work, capturing the process and talking about it. So sure. I kind of want to take all the classes. <laughs> so there's not, That's a I'm going to be really busy. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and as part of this process, you have to produce a kind of final mm -hmm. piece of, of work. Right. And do you know what that might be at this point? I know it's a, it's a yeah. creativity is a, a messy journey and right. you know, we don't want to put you in a box too early. I don't have a particular final piece, but I want to have like a final show. So mm -hmm. it could show the process pieces as well as the final piece, which could be an installation. It could be a mural, it could be a body of multiple little pieces that come together. So I don't have an exact peace in mind, but I'm kind of just excited about seeing what happens. Cool. Well, that's that's the great thing about learning is you don't never you, you don't always know where you're going to end up right. when you start and you're going to be inspired along the way. So, mm -hmm. great. Well, it was awesome to meet you. Uh, well, where thanks for can me. where can the community find you online? Uh, my website is madelinetrait.com. I'm on Facebook by Madeline Trait. Uh, Instagram, Madeline Trait, and Twitter, Madeline Trait. So, so pretty much if they... Yeah, just Google my name <laughs> and they'll find Trait, it. <laughs> and, and that will be and you. Trait, just to be sure, is spelled... T-R-A-I-T. Fantastic. Great. So, so for easy. everyone out there, maybe give her a little uh, little social media love and, yeah. and support. And uh, we'll be... Uh, keep an eye on the Creative Live blog over the next two months to see mm -hmm. her uh, work in progress. Yep. Yes. Very Absolutely. cool. All right. Well, Thank you again for joining us.